I'm obviously disappointed. Um, put a lot into this combo. Come to the mall. You know what I mean? He was um, very good fighter, very strong. And I give it my all, and it, it won't good enough, unfortunately. But you know, there's, there's not much more I can do, really. How are you feeling yourself after that? Uh, a bit gutted. Um, no, physically. Yeah, feel good. No, yeah, yeah, feel good. Um, obviously, I've never been down before, so mm. that was another experience to me. But it was. Yeah. What does that feel like for this time? Um, disappointment, perhaps. No, it's just obviously there's a feeling of just obviously it's a new experience and just getting round it, like you know. But um, no, I managed to get over the first couple of knockdowns and the third as well. But he, he was just too strong, I couldn't keep him off him. Mm. I couldn't keep him off me, you know what I mean? He was a good fighter, mate. Yeah, he's a, he's a great fighter. Because there, yeah. there are a lot of times in rounds when you, you had a really good sort of two minutes, yeah, and then it sort of catch you, and, and it's, yeah. it's sort of almost like. You, you almost see the sort of strength draining from you at times. Yeah. Was, yeah. Is that how it felt in there? No, it does. He just, I just couldn't, couldn't keep him off, you know. And even though I hit him, like I'd have, I'd hit him with a couple of good shots and you know, kind of get his attention. He was still there. He was still there. You know, he was throwing big shots and he'd, he'd occasionally catch me. And I'm, you know, you just obviously start thinking then. You know, I've got to be careful. I can't throw the shots I want to throw because he's going to catch me one of these and put me out. You know what I mean? So it was. Um, yeah, it was a tough fight. I mean, it was great being in there, being with someone that calibre. Definitely the best person I fought. But I, I come to Dunmore, you know, I've took myself away from my family. I've had a hard 12 week mm. training camp. I've um, done everything possible to win this fight. And I couldn't do more. I, I come to Dunmore. So. But would that performance, and a lot of people say that performance would probably beat any, any other middleweight in the world, that performance you just put on there? Um, I don't know. I've got to, I've got to, um, I've got to obviously look back. It's different. Being in there and then watching it when you, mm. you know, after the fight, so I've got to, I've got to watch that myself. But um, I believe him. The, you know, I, 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 my thing tonight was proving I was the best middleweight in the world. Obviously, that's not happened. I, I do believe I'm the second best middle, middleweight in the world, but I've still not got a belt. Do you know what I mean? And that's what I want. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna have a rest now for a couple of weeks and. Uh, yeah, see where I go from here. And your thoughts you about, because well, obviously that's your last fight with, with the current deal with Rodney, isn't it, here? No, we've just, uh, just signed another hand, have we? Have we? No, we're just sort of finishing We're just sorting another now, yeah, yeah, so... But you th you're thinking that's the way to go, because, I mean, you're looking maybe Andy Lee's based out here. Yeah, well, there maybe. you go. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great fight. I know he's obviously got Quillen first. Um, yeah, it'd be a good fight. I always want the big domestic fights. And the fact that Andy's got a world title as well, you know, it'd be brilliant. But um, yeah, that's that's definitely a fight I'm looking for. Do you take a lot of pride in the fact that you've survived for longer than him than anyone else has? Um, okay. Not really. I got beaten. Obviously, I'm gutted. So. Um, Do you think in time you may reflect and take some pride? Possibly. Yeah, possibly. But at the minute, obviously, I'm I'm, I'm gutted, and you know, I can't think about anything other than than I've been beat. So. No, no thoughts to stop him, right? I mean, you're, you're still no. full of running, right? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, that's the first war I've been in, really. Do you know what I mean? I'm, uh, I've had 32 fights now, I think, and then 32 is the first war I've been in, so there's, uh, there's plenty of them left in me, and there's plenty of years left in me yet, so, you know, I've just got to see where I can go, opportunities middleweight wise. But there is obviously the possibility of stepping up, but mm. um, I've just got to wait and see what what what's there for me in middle words. I'd love a big fight with Andy Lee. Obviously, I'm hoping he gets through the mm. quality fights, and uh, yeah, I just see where we go from here. Mm. Yeah, you mentioned super middleweight there. Have you got your eye on a fight? I mean, Alfred Abraham would be very beatable, wouldn't he? Um, yeah, after watching him, um, his first fight with Smega, I believe he, he beat Paul tonight, which I'm uh, obviously Paul's a good lad, and uh, I'm good for him. So I'm sorry to hear that when I got back to changing rooms, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I've not. You know, I've not obviously planned on going up. These are just these are just possibilities. I think, I mean, Oliver think that I'll be a better super middleweight than I would a middleweight. Do you know what I mean? But um, my opportunity have been a middleweight for the time being. So, so uh, yeah, I've just got to see what's left for me at middleweight. And uh, if there's nothing there, then move up. But I'm sure, I'm sure there will be. There's, there's not a lot of big money fights up at super middleweight at the moment. Yeah, there yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. And you know, obviously, I want to be in big fights. That's it. Uh, at middleweight, this is as big as it. Big as it gets for me, you know, Golovkin was the main man. Yeah. I was trying to beat him. Obviously, that didn't happen, so well, I want to be. Mark, how far. Sorry, mate, can no you short, but I'll get this question. question yeah. Yeah. Um, how far into the fight did you notice the difference in power, like what you was taking on the, you know, the gloves? Um, to, be honest, yeah. to be honest, yeah, I didn't. He hit hard. Um, 
he hits hard, and I thought, you know, first couple of rounds, I thought, you know, I can, he hits hard, but if I just keep on my toes there, I can just kind of like, um, you know, keep nicking it. I thought I won the first two rounds. The third, I thought he'd come back, and then obviously he put me down the fourth. But I could, I could feel his power, but it wasn't really that much of his, of his power. It was his, his pressure with the power. Do you know what I mean? And it was just not being able to keep him off me. But you know, I thought he had good spells, but it just wasn't good enough. Oh, he left it all in the ring, Mark. Oh, cheers.